Well, hello there, friends. I am talking to you in the present tense rather than past tense, meaning I'm recording this the night I uploaded this video rather than the night I recorded this video. And why? Well, I'll confess. About halfway through the video, I had... a moment. I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. And I and in this moment, I ended up throwing the microphone, which erased half the commentary. Yay! And as a result, I'm going to skip over most of the stuff, and just go to the point where the commentary resumed. So yeah... There wasn't much, much I could do about it. Right now, I'm playing the battle scene from the last video, so that you can at least see what the battle looks like. I kept failing in the last level, so I'll be st it'll start at the beginning. It, it, it just I basically just skipped over some epic fail, pretty much. And I'm also taking this opportunity to do test out my new microphone. An Xbox Live headset. Which I connected with uh, an adapt to my PC with use of an adapter. And so far it actually works and it's actually better than my old method, so yeah. And as you can see I already won the fight, so get ready for more da finger moments from me and Enjoy. Besides, I must give a shout out to Cage 2.5 Remix. Maybe I'll do an update video like I did 1.5, but nevertheless, enjoy the final James Bond video. It's finally going to be over and done with. Goodbye. Are you okay? Seems freaking unforgiving. Such a long mission and no checkpoints. This warehouse shits henchmen at its ass and endless henchmen, and this is how the game repays us for trying to work so hard and getting close to the end. Start playing diehard music here. It's personal.
This video has been going on for three! Can I kill something right now? Can I kill? I give up. I just give up. There's nothing more I can say. Willem Dafoe won. With all these... There's nothing I can really say. Is this the first Let's Play I ever give up on? Permanently? Do I have to torture myself with this mission? This was supposed to be the finale. But, the fact that I can't even survive throughout the whole level without dying. I mean, am I going to have to kill myself just so I can get through this game? What am I going to do? It's like infinitely spawning enemies in a James Bond game? That's never a good thing, even in Goldeneye. I was trying to freak out there. Why am I ki why am I still playing this? Like why am I still playing this? Is this gonna be the second let's play after Nicktoons Racing that I just give up on? I just gave myself another scar on my face just because of this game. What's the point of pressing on? If I die again, I'm most likely gonna do who knows what. Will I smash the game? Or stab myself or something?
There's very little hope left. The fact that the enemy is practically coming out of the warehouse's ass. Coming from all directions. Like, I do so great until the stealth camouflage people come in. Apparently, Bond is on its blind and can't target people with stealth camouflage. Like, even if he... I mean, yeah, who could do that? But this is Bond. He'd figure it out. I mean, I have beaten this mission before, but tell you the truth... Now that it's all coming back, why did I waste that armor? I pretty much guaranteed I won't be beating it this time. I'm not even kidding when I say there's blood on my face, on my forehead right now from me hitting my head against the wall, against the wall. Well, not, not against the wall, against a pillow. And it's from a zit. Which never want to go away. Even taking a moment of silence, Grand Theft Auto 4, worst biker in history style, even that wasn't enough to beat this, so how am I going to beat it? It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. Maybe if I start punching things, that would help. Maybe. Instead of just running away to get into cover. Come on, we gotta bring this chapter in our life to a close. Of course, the rocket launcher man knows I'm coming somehow, so he fires a rocket right as I go into his field of view. Alright, now turn on the thermal vision. Because the stealth people... Don't like that. And... Yeah. How am I gonna beat this? It's impossible. I don't even know how I beat it the first time. It's like... You beat something very hard that one time, and then you can never do it again. That curse is affecting me officially. Like, I don't even have a life outside of this. What else am I supposed to do with life other than play this? I don't got friends or family. Really? Well, yeah, I obviously got family, but not really friends. Like, I'm being the question, the meaning of life right now. Playing this hard mission that's extremely hard on operative, so I can only admit... And we just picked up armor guaranteeing that we won't win?
They're all, they're coming from all sides. Like, Jesus. Give me a breather. I like a challenge, but not where you're just getting hammered with bullets. If this is easy mode, I can only imagine what the hard mode's like. See? With thermal vision, we can easily defy these stealth pe- Oh, fucks. Yeah, I don't like using language, but you've been noticing I've been using it a lot more. And I have the right to. And now Rocket Man knows to fire at the floor, just like in Team Fortress, where you, you're, the game recommends you fire at the floor in order to guarantee a hit. But to be honest, I think we're doing fine. This video is incredibly long, but, and I might be bleeding from it, but, who knows? Blood causes scabs to form. And as long as I don't get rid of the scab, I will not get scars. Or at least that's how it should be. Did the game literally run out of enemies for the spawn at me? Wow. Too bad we have a whole new section of the warehouse to go through. That goes to nowhere. Well, we found the launch area finally, so maybe the game will finally give us a checkpoint, even though this video is close to an hour long. This is probably going to be the most epic finale of any Let's Play I've ever done. And it looks like the game finally ran out of enemies to spawn at me. Let's put out Rocket Launcher. Mr. Willem Dafoe is going to pay for all that shit I had to go through. And there he is. We get to fire a nice rocket at him and take him out once and for all. And of course we die. But knowing the game, we get a checkpoint. About fucking time. I don't like swearing. And yet I have to because of this game. And what it did to me. Finally! It's all over, Mr. Defoe. For you. Now, just to stop the missile, and... Of course, avoid the exhaust. You ignored it. So, we get to see our satisfying defeat of Mr. Defoe again. You get to see it again. Yes, let's watch it again.
Destroy the missile! And we got it. Officially ending this chapter on our life. Well, Bond, go get laid. Yes, Bond, do a three. Yes, Bond, I know you're gonna kiss the Bond girl this game. And. Yeah. Go get laid, Bond. I did it. I defied your game. I defied the little Willem Dafoe's thing. Right, skip the credits. Yeah, it's giving us like v more VR missions of such, but I don't care. I don't care. I just don't really give a damn right now. I beat the game, the let's play's over, and I have more possibilities. No, I'm not doing this new VR mission. That's it. It's all over. It's come to a close. Yeah. 51 and a half minutes for you, but... I did it. James Bond is over. Now, KH1, Half-Life 1, Far Cry 3, and Mario 64 await. So long, Mr. Bond.